If you work out, you've definitely used an interval timer before, but what about creating your own one? That's what we're gonna do in today's video. All right, guys. So as usual, I'm going to import a module, which is in this case, time, because of course, interval timer, we're gonna need time, right? Perfect. Then as usual, I'm gonna print my line and then a little title, all right, so interval timer perfect then print another line and then number of cycles right so i'm gonna have the user actually enter the number right then seconds size same thing like that and then rest rest so why am i actually using int here because we're going to use these numbers later and we want them to be actually integers and input returns a string so we actually want to convert the string to an integer then i'm going to do this spaces and then I'm going to print carriage return, get ready, the timer will start in 5. I decided 5, but you can do whatever you want. So as you can see, I'm actually using the carriage return and I'm actually using end, an empty string. Why am I doing that? Because I just want to overwrite the same line over and over. I've actually made a video in which I explain how to use the carriage return, how to overwrite the same line, etc., etc. So make sure you go and watch that because you're gonna learn how to actually overwrite things and why we do things in a certain way. So go and check that out. I'll leave the link in the cards up above and in the description box down below. All right, so then I'm gonna do four in reversed range zero five don't worry i'm gonna explain everything in a second just gonna type everything in and then so zero i'm gonna print so the same line so get ready the timer will start in Replacement field, spaces, format, and, and empty string. Else, I'm going to print a uh, go. That's my spaces. And, and, all right. So what does this do? Here, we actually start by printing this line. I actually decided that I want to start after five seconds. So I actually wrote five, but if you want to start from 10, you have to write 10. Then range actually returns an iterator. So in this case, it's sort of a list. It's not actually a list, but let's say that it's a list to make things easier to understand. So this list would be like zero, one, two, three, four. So the five is not actually included, right? So the zero is included, the five is not included. So the numbers are actually zero, one, two, three, four, which are five numbers. So we don't actually care if it starts from one and then through five or from zero through four, et cetera, et cetera. We don't actually care about that. So then we are gonna reverse them, which means that instead of being zero, one, two, three, four, it's gonna be 
43210. We're going to wait one second because we actually start from five. Then here, if number the number is greater than zero, which means that it's not actually the last second, I'm going to print where ready, the timer will start in. The first number is going to be four because four is now the first number in the sort of list. So this is going to be four and then it's going to be three and then it's going to be two, one and then zero. So this is not true anymore. And we're going to go down here. We're going to print go. So actually it's going to be five, four, three, two, one, go. And then we start a timer. All right. So let's go ahead and do just that. Four cycle in range. We're going to use range again. Cycles which is the number of cycles that we decided up here. I want to print first thing. So we actually want to start with exercise. I'm going to add the spaces. And as usual, perfect. Four and range seconds exercise then use time slip one second and then I'm gonna print exercise like that few spaces I don't need a lot because we don't have really long strings after and like that. So here we are actually looping through the seconds exercise. And let's say they are 10. So it starts from zero here, then it waits one second, and then it does n plus one. Why? Because as I said, range starts from zero through nine in this case. There are still 10 seconds, all right? So 10 loops but we don't want to see zero again so we want to see zero here then wait one second and then one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then we want to go ahead and actually do the same thing for the rest time so let's go ahead and do that here i'm doing another thing that i'll explain to you cycles not print oh well done Put spaces and a break i explain all the code to you in a second i'm gonna do the same thing as we did for the exercise zero plus spaces and then here, I'm going to look through the seconds rest. Then I'm going to stop everything for one second. Then I'm going to print rest that spaces format as we did above n plus one. So what have we done here? First of all, I'm gonna check if this is the last cycle. Why? Because otherwise it would be like exercise 10 seconds and then rest 10 seconds. And then that's it. You've finished your workout or whatever you want to do with this timer. So it doesn't make sense because after the last sort of exercise, you're done. So you want the timer to actually stop. Okay, so I'm actually using cycle plus one because as usual, we actually entered the right number of cycles, right? So let's say five cycles, but this would start from zero. So it would be like zero, one, two, three, four. So this would never be true. So in this case, we actually want to add one. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five which is exactly the same as the cycles that we entered above. 
we could have done it like in a different way like we could have done it like cycles minus one it would have been the same so feel free to do whatever makes you happy <laughs> right so i guess everything is right so what we need to do now is actually try to run it and see if it works as it's supposed to work so let's try that out i'm gonna save that and open my terminal perfect hopefully everything works let's see number of cycles let's say three don't want it too long yeah 10 let's say five seconds of exercise two seconds of rest yeah get ready four three two one go exercise one right hey fast yeah it looks like it's working well done i guess it's working right thankfully i didn't make any mistake <laughs> all right so i'm actually going to clear everything up so just a bonus for windows users we could actually sort of make a sound or something to let the user know when to start when to rest when to actually exercise when everything is completed right stuff like that so we could actually do that as i said this is for windows users only but you know keep in mind that i'm gonna push both versions to github all right so then you can choose the one that you actually want to use so let's close this like that all right what i'm gonna do is create a new file interval timer beep don't know then i'm gonna copy all of this here all right so perfect i'm going to import the module that we're gonna use which is win sound that's why it actually works only on windows right and then i'm going to actually use one method so i'm going to use beep so first of all let's see where i can add it so we can actually add one beep down here like that we could actually win sound dot beep easy then there's the frequency so it's like more like boo or more like beep stuff like that and then the length of the sound perfect so this is like go beep and then it starts perfect then we could actually let the user know when the exercise time i'm actually changing the length of the sound of the beep so you can sort of distinguish them so then i'm going to add one down here i copy this when the rest time has ended you can do like well, i can actually do like two beep beep and then we can actually add one at the end of everything like down here it's like a longer one to say like all right completed gonna do like that so these are actually milliseconds one thing to keep in mind i feel like i need to mention that but in this case it's not really important but the beep does run in the same thread as the other code so it actually stops the code from running for the length of the beep so let's say that here is like go and then one second of beep and then it starts counting right which is actually useful here maybe because it's like you you hear the beep and then you get ready and then you know you start with the timer so keep that in mind i mean it's not important in this 
specific case, but I guess this is important to know. We could actually try to run this. Can I save that? So Python timer, but then we need to add the beep. Hopefully it wasn't too loud. All right, I guess that everything worked, probably. It wasn't that really amazing sound, right? But, you know, just to show you, then you can change things up, frequency, length, whatever you want. So. All right, so there you have it, guys. You've got the interval timer, and then you've got the interval timer with a beep. If you are a Windows user, remember that. And yeah, 